Oh, I got him. I Yo, what is going on guys? You might be wondering what I'm opening. I haven't done the proper introduction. This normally isn't how I start videos, but I just pulled up to this pond just to look and see if the fish are on bed. This is a pond where I really learned how to bass fish at. So I feel like it's only right that I make this video here. You might see this lure and you might be like, what in the heck is that? This company, Victim Baits, Kuna Baits, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. They reached out to me and they sent me these and they're human bait. And I have never seen anything like this. I'm pretty sure this is the craziest soft plastic lure ever made. I mean, I have seen a few that are kind of shaped as, um, we're not gonna talk on that. We're not gonna speak about that one, but I feel like this is so wrong. We're gonna weightless rig this. It just so happened that I saw a bass on bed over there and I hooked into one, didn't have my camera on just because I've had a long day today of trying to figure out what oh it came out of his neck oh gosh that's terrible i rigged him the wrong way that's backwards let's put his body on the outside oh this is so bad i'm sorry dude I've had a long day of trying to find fish had a good morning this morning saw a lot of fish just weren't really able to connect with them you know just one of those things about fishing you know you might see the fish but there's no guarantee oh look at that that looks great look how he's on there but there's just no guarantee that you will hook up so now we are here with our human bait. Oh, this going right in between his bum. His bum cheeks. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, get in there. Yeah, Oh, That just happened. Okay, we need a little bit more hook. Sorry, dude. One more big, big stick, big stick, like they tell you at the doctor's office. And they pull out the 100 gauge needle. Okay, okay, dude. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're, we're fishing on a bit, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but. Guys, that is, that is a human. Probably need to be careful on how I title and thumbnail this video, but that is our lure of choice today, guys. And we are going to go try and catch this fish on the bed on this human creature bait. I guess it's a human creature bait, I guess. We have interest of, oh, there's the, the bass is literally sitting right there. Dude, the bass is literally sitting right here. I, I think, I'm guessing this is his bed, like right in here. Oh, he's he's looking at it. Oh my goodness, there's no way he's already that fired up about it. Oh, this video is going to be a lot of commentary, but I promise, I promise they're going <laughs> to catch the fish. Trying to find a spot. Normally, when you're bed fishing, there's a spot that they just hate for whatever you're fishing. He's like, right. Pretty, you probably can't see it, but he's like, he keeps looking at it. I mean, he's definitely kind of interested. And he's like, this, whatever it is, shouldn't be in the water. He just made that connection for sure. I had a little weight to him. We had the attention of the bass a couple times, but I think this weight might set us on the part. All right, we got the white one tied on now. Oh, I got him. I snagged him. No, I snagged him. No, that is not how I wanted to catch you. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. Gosh, I did not want to snag you. Hey, but we caught him. I don't, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Oh gosh, we, dang it. I, he turned and opened his mouth. I got excited and I, oh man, dude, I'm sorry. I need to snag you, dude. I'm sorry. That's not fair for the fish. I sound like I'm part of PETA. I mean, we caught them. Like, if we were fishing to eat, this is perfectly legal, but I kind of wanted you to eat it. Not a bad one at all, though. Well, guys, we have our snag number one on the human bait. I hate we snagged them. At least we know it kind of works, you know? At least we can say for us to snag them, he had to get close enough to the person bait for us to snag him. So, I mean, I don't count it, but at the same time, you kind of have to count it because he opened his mouth enough for me to think to set the hook on him. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Dude, fish number one was snagged, but still caught. So, see you later, dude. Thanks for playing.
All right, guys, so we went back for day number two, but we need to talk about day number one. Tell me what you think. I say that the fish catch, I say it's 50-50. You can kind of count it. The only reason why I say you kind of count it is because the fish had to get close enough to the human bait to open its mouth. When I set the hook, it had its mouth open towards the bait, but you know how sometimes fish will pick up a bait by the very, very tip of it when you're bed fishing and just move it off the bed. So that's kind of what was going on second. By the time I was like raising it up to see if I could feel it, took off, that's how the hook in the side happened. So we'll say that we... 50% caught the fish and then we didn't really catch it so I mean like it ate the lure but it didn't eat it all the way so we snagged it which is kind of like where it throws it off at so if somebody asked me if I caught a fish on the human lure I would say yes but I would have to tell them that I snagged it so I don't know tell me what you think in the comments tell me how you feel about is a snag fish a caught fish I believe it's still a caught fish but it's not like the right way to catch it you know but anyway that's a we can talk about that forever but anyway guys we actually went back this morning to the same spot and there were a few more fish on bed that we couldn't really see yesterday because it was kind of dark we waited for the sun to come up this morning we went back out and tried to catch a few more and this is how it went all right guys i feel like i'm about, i feel like a football coach and i'm about to watch film everybody sit down eyes up head up pay attention big shoulders sit up straight i put the camera in the water and the first thing i do is walk away because normally when if I would have stood, or when you get too close to a bed, sometimes the fish are really skittish, like in this case, and they'll swim off. So, first thing I did was drop the camera down and walk away. And here in a second, the fish will swim up, hopefully. There it is. Oh, let's go back. Okay, so, here it is. Here's the fish, and it's checking out the camera pretty much. There's probably a red light flashing on the camera, and the fish is like, oh, wow. Um, I really was wishing that the fish would eat the camera and just take it out, you know, like just take it out to the middle of the pond. That would have been awesome. This is kind of cool. I like this view when I was watching it earlier. You can kind of see how like one of the eyes is like, you can see its eyes moving. And I think that's really cool. Like when you catch a fish, normally you don't see that. You just see, you see it just happened again right there. This is going to be like an underwater study of bass, bass activity. But you can see it's just swimming, just swimming. But when he sees that lure fly over his head, like over the top of the water, he's like, yeah, see y'all later. And then you can see right here, I start bringing it in. Um, in a second, I kind of figure out what to do just to kind of get their attention with it instead of hopping it. Because each fish on bed is always different. And like I said earlier in the video, there's normally a spot on the bed that you can put your lure at and the bass is just going to go crazy. Like... He might only come and pick up the tail. I'm not going to say he's going to go crazy, but he'll come and pick up like the end part of your lure, not grab the hook on purpose because he knows what he's doing and he'll just pick it up and just move it off the bed. And that'll be that. Yeah, so we drop the camera down right here. We move it around a little bit. This is actually a different fish on a bed that I didn't see yesterday. I found it this morning and we're just kind of like working the Texas rig across the bed, just working it. Not really, no intentions really with it here and somewhere in here so like i was saying in the last clip i kind of let it play but like i was saying in the last clip i'll just let the lure sit and just kind of i'll let it sit in like i'll let it sit in a certain spot on the bed for like a minute and i guess this was the spot you can barely see the fish starting to swim up towards it right here and here as you can see it's eye and then there's like a bluegill swimming across it and it turns its head and i'm like ooh, it's happening that's kind of what happened yesterday with the fish like turned its head opened its mouth just like trying to move the lure out of the way and then it never ate it. But you can see it's definitely, it definitely has a little bit of interest in it. It might not be wanting, it might not see it as a threat to the bed. It might just be like, who is this stupid dude throwing this lure on my bed? I know what you're trying to do. But, um, and there's no telling. These fish might have already been caught. So normally when you catch a fish off of a bed, at least in my experience, you go back day two and three, it just gets harder and harder to catch it again. I mean, sometimes you can, but especially like in this pond, it's been kind of tough to, catch a fish twice off of a bed but yeah he just kind of hovers off of it at this point i've laid the rod down and i walked away he just kind of hovers over it and i really just i just want to see if he'll eat it and just take it you know i'm not really not really so much and worried about trying to hook him and bring him out of the water i'm just kind of more focused on like what is he gonna is he gonna eat it but as you can see he just kind of chills around he can barely see him but all right guys this one is just kind of cool just because I just left the camera there. I didn't have a lure on the bed. I just wanted to see what the fish was doing. Every time I'd walk by the bed like yesterday, I'd walk by and the fish would just swim out. So I was like, I wonder what, what does he have going on? So in this one, I just kind of, I really just let the camera sit and just kind of want to see what the fish was doing. So looks like right here, he's just kind of looking at the camera. This is fish number one. This is a different, or this is back to the first bed. You see, he's just kind of hanging out, chilling. 
doing spinning circles, swimming in circles, what fish do. Swim in circles, swim in circles. Show, shows his tail, shows the side of his body. There you go. Oop, swims off. I think he comes back though. All right guys, let me know what you thought of today's video. It's something a little bit different. I've never done any underwater footage like this and I've also never done any bed fishing footage. So first, well last year I really wasn't on YouTube when bed fishing was around. I've bed fished a lot before. That's like probably one of my favorite times to catch fish. But I've never really caught any big fish off of a bed, which is something I'm happy that there I'm happy that I have an excuse to record it now because some of the bed, I feel like I could get some really cool bed fishing underwater fish catches if you see what I'm trying to say. But anyway guys, let me know what you thought of today's video. Let me know what you thought of the human lures, the victim baits, the Kuna Outdoors victim baits. I'll have them linked down below in the description if you want to check them out guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you thought about it today in the comments. Leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day.